Hey guys, back with another video. Today, I wanna to talk again about GBTC and its continued discount to NAV, which is now at all time lows or highs, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but it's the biggest discount that there has been in its history, uh, well, well below 40% now. And um, it just started plummeting a, a couple of days ago, basically when FTX um, became insolvent and it, and it became no known to the public that FTX was insolvent. So um, it does seem like there's a direct cause and effect here. Um, I think people are concerned that the regulators are looking at crypto and not liking what they see right now, considering, you know, one of the largest exchanges out there was doing some shady stuff and is basically going bankrupt and putting people's funds at risk. And there's a good chance a lot of people aren't going to get all their money back from FTX. And so the regulators are seeing this and they're like, hmm, crypto, especially since um, SBF, the CEO of FTX was the um, basically crypto, crypto's advocate to regulators. So the main guy who was advocating for crypto to regulators turns out to be a shady guy and um, his company's going bankrupt and he's damaging a lot of investors. So the SEC is not looking at this favorably. And I think an assumption we can make is that the reason why um, GBT's discount is, is widening is because investors are concerned that the SEC is seeing this and it's decreasing their likelihood of approving a Bitcoin ETF specifically for um, Grayscale, who that's been what they've been allocating their funds to is to try to get their fund turned into an ETF, which would then um, completely diminish the, the discount that currently there is in GBTC. So, um, so basically long story short, FTX's bankruptcy is significantly lowering the chances of Grayscale receiving approval from the SEC for an ETF, which would completely eliminate the discount. So people are pricing in the um, much lower chance of this, of an ETF approval, and therefore the discount is widening. I think that is the main reason why the discount is widening at a faster rate right now. Um, it is a little worrisome. Who knows when it will end? It is somewhat speculative to guess, you know, what the bottom would be for the discount. But it is also at the same time pretty insane that I don't know what it is right now, probably close to 45% discount from, from NAV, net asset value, meaning you're getting the Bitcoin that Grayscale owns at a 45% discount, which is insane. Almost 50% discount, which means, you know, today, what is it at? It's at like $18,000. So you're getting their Bitcoin for $9,000. Um, pretty crazy, but again, we don't know how low it could go. So there's definitely some risk. Um, one of the main reasons why I have bought GBTC in the past is because I have a lot of liquidity in retirement accounts, um, tax sheltered IRAs, um, you know, Roth IRA and traditional IRAs. And uh, it's one of the only ways to try to get direct, um, to get direct exposure to Bitcoin in those IRAs. And rather than withdraw some of the cash, which I can do, but then I would have to pay taxes. Um, so rather than withdraw cash and pay taxes and um, buy Bitcoin with that cash, I'd rather just not have to pay the taxes, especially in my Roth IRA, and buy the GBTC. Now, one could say that this has backfired considering the, uh, the discount to NAV has been widening and now it's widening at a pretty rapid pace currently. But... Um, I have no plan on selling anytime soon and I'm just going to hold and it's not, it's definitely not the majority of my Bitcoin position. I have a much larger real Bitcoin position, but it is, you know, I do hold a good amount of GBTC. So it is somewhat concerning. So, um, 
you know, you guys need to make your own financial decisions. None of my videos are financial advice, but uh, it could be seen as an opportunity or it could be seen as a risk. I think it's an interesting diversification of your Bitcoin holdings, especially if you have a retirement account or you want a tax sheltered way in a retirement account to exp to expose yourself to Bitcoin. Um, not going to edit that out. But uh, so, yeah, those are my thoughts on GBTC. It is a little bit concerning, but it could also be an opportunity. So if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. See you next video.